Welcome to Toffee TV. It is the transfer deadline day latest. Powered by Snickers a Protein. We're helping fans get excited about the football during the transfer window. Baz is on his phone. Look at him. He's got the laptop. He's got the phone. He's honestly, I've got me two phones here just in case. I don't know why I've got two phones. I don't know why I've got two phones. Because people, what happens? people can ring me on one. I haven't got another number, so that's just really Text stupid, or isn't it? Or a WhatsApp on one way. I can't have only got a SIM in one. Oh. Doesn't make any sense. All right. Doesn't make any sense. Well, that's, I mean, the fella on Sky used to have six. I know. It just doesn't make any sense. Unless you had six different numbers, but whatever. What's going on? We know <clears throat> We know one one <coughs> deal has been confirmed. Jonas Lossell left the club. Yes, from Midland. Sad time. It is sad times. Sad Never time, played a game. I'd love, I'd big hopes for him. Never played a game for Everton. Uh, it's younger than you think. It's only thirty-one. You think like he's whatever. Fred Barber vibes. Fred Barber. No, uh, he's he's moved on. So good luck to him in his. Uh, he's moved on at Midland. I uh, was hoping we might do a little swap deal with the uh, Jens Kloost from there, but no, he's, no he's, he's a midfield player, but no, 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 no Jens, no. No Jens, not coming in. Good player, though. No Look party. out for him. No very Jens, good. no party. Six foot two, centre midfielder. God. Very good. David Moyes will be all <coughs> over him. He would. Well, New hopefully, yeah. Fellaini. Will be all over him. New Fellaini. No, no, he's good. Good player. Uh, yeah, Lercel's gone out, obviously, over the weekend. John Joe Kenny's up in Scotland at the moment, hoping to complete that move to That's Celtic. a loan, isn't That's it? That's a loan. The thoughts bouncing around are it'll be loan to Celtic till the summer and then he'll move to Burnley in the summer. That's what. Oh. That's what's getting bounced around. So why? Why is there any reason why Burnley can't won't take him now? I don't know whether Everton would have because it was this country would have wanted Burnley to pay money now for him, <clears throat> and maybe they they've got David Bardsley and they've got Matthew Lowton at the moment, haven't okay. they? They're two right back, so maybe Bardsley's getting on, isn't he? So maybe they'll just do this season, and then in the summer he'll be maybe I'm not sure his contract might be up for all we know in the summer, Bardsley. And maybe then they'll move for John Joe Kenny, who will only have 12 months left on his Everton deal as well. So probably get him for a little bit cheaper than yeah, you're going to get him for now. Uh, and it'll give him a chance, obviously, to play regular football. So I'm quite sure they'll be watching closely how he does up there. They just got rid of Frimpong, haven't they? Um, Celtic, yeah. so <coughs> he can go in there. And obviously we've seen Shank Toshin, who loves taking pictures with his Besiktas top on. Doing that before he'd even signed the deal, Never which laughed, had he? no. Well, he flew out there in their jet, didn't he? Exactly. So he's and gone back there. So. Gone on loan. Another. Oh. What can you no, do? No, I know, I know. <clears throat> it's just like you want to get rid of these people, don't you? You don't want to be saddled with them again. But he's another player. He's, he's got eighteen months left. You know, we get to the summer, he'll have twelve months left. If he's done well for them, mm. then either they'll come in with a, well, he'll try and raise the money to buy him, I guess, or he'll be going the Euros with Turkey. And if he does all right there, then maybe there'll be interest from other clubs. Obviously, he was linked with Celta Vigo over the weekend, and um, a couple of clubs in France were apparently looking at him as well. But he, he wanted to go back to Besiktas. So I think yeah. he, I, I mean, I think he'll. <clears throat> if he goes anywhere, I can imagine it'll be Besiktas because it's always been that thing with him that I always felt like he didn't. He's always made statements about not wanting to go back and succeed in the Premier League, and maybe going back a little bit later, later. But I think now that he's made the he's gone, it's go like back. he's decided, you know, he's gone back. It's not I mean, the way he's done it as well is like, oh, I'm you know, big, fantastic return. And it's not like uh, he's not doing it with a whimper. He's doing it with like, I'm, I'm back, I'm back to change things and all that. So I expect. I hope he does really well there. Oh, smashes it. No, but for him, I, I, I think the one thing I would say about Tosin is I, I think he always wanted to do well for mm. Everton. He always wanted to do well. I don't think he ever come on the pitch and just walk no. around like he wasn't interested. I think he always wanted to do well, so I've got no ill feeling towards my hope he goes and does really well and gets his move there, because if he does well, they'll want to keep him. And yeah. He's got a year left, I think Evan will just be happy. Yeah, I think they'll want to keep him anyway. He's, it's, yeah. it's, it's, you know, it's just one of it's those club, things, isn't, isn't it? it? So they're the, they're the thing. one move that looks like it do, isn't going to happen is now Bernard to Al Nasser, obviously, for whatever reason, over the weekend, that's hit. The, the skids is on, the have been put on that, so... They've just signed someone from France today for two million, so it doesn't look like that's going to happen, and that possibly will affect Everton with someone coming in, maybe. But we'll have to wait and see. There's over just the, what is the just over eight hours to go. Mm. So, 
Yes. And there aren't many noises, are there, really? And I know no. that can change very quickly yeah. if this thing's in the pipeline, but... I mean, we had, we had Perisic first thing this morning. Um, mm. Josh King is bouncing around. No, Everton are. I've, you know, been making inquiries about a couple of formal players, but if the finances aren't in place, it won't happen, will it? So, we'll have to see. And I mean, from an Everton perspective, from a purely fan perspective on it, without going into details of financial fair play and mm. Premier League rules and all that, I struggled with the fact that since September we've offloaded Theo Walcott, Moise Keane, Ellis Sims and Shank Tosin. Ellis Sims, all right, you know, Yannick Balassi as well, mm. whether people, whatever people think oh, about that. Money, the four, money's gone out, but there's also four attacking players have gone out and we were ready to get rid of Bernard as well. If we now don't bring anyone in in these next few hours, a lot of people are worried. I've known lots of messages and texts and a lot of people are worried from an Everton perspective that we'll be left with Dominic Calvert-Lewin and yeah. Richarlison. If one of them was to get injured, no, or we've sent we've, off or whatever. We've left ourselves massively sure, like just in terms of the squad. Mm. Like I was thinking to myself before, I was counting up the players and it's only really about... 16 players we've well, got. Well, wasn't John Jim on the bench at Saturday? Yeah. He was, wasn't he? And he's gone. So we've only got like, honest, we've only got like 16 players now, something like that. We are really, really sure. No. It's like a, it feels like to me almost like the club have just decided that we're just, it's a whatever happens this season happens. And mm. the way they're looking at it, and we said this beginning of the season, they took a calculated gamble with letting Moise Keane go on loan. And the, funny enough, the irony about Moise Keane is he's not getting a game. For PSG, you know, back now, Acardi's isn't? back. He's not going to get a sniff. Um, and yeah, he's done all right, hasn't he? Went goals wise. No, no, he? he has, he has. So, you, but it's we. It's not. I'm saying it's stupid. We need. We could seriously. Do Should we just him ask him to come back we tonight? Could, we could seriously do with him now, and he's not getting a game over mm. there. And I don't, I don't think that would happen. But you know no. what I mean. It's just the way it is. Um, but we have left ourselves shut. But the thing about it is, I mean, the play's gone out. Obviously, Yannick Balassi not registered anyway. Um, Cheng Tolson was on the bench but hasn't really made an impact scored in the FA Cup but wasn't getting used obviously made a decision on him Yeah. John Joe Kenny seen a couple of little cameos coming on the pitch but that's what someone else could do yeah. easily you know you've got still got um, and Kunku Smalls made his debut so on that side on the other side obviously mm. natural right back uh, we've had Seamus obviously playing and we've had Ben Godfrey can play there and we've had Mason Allgay playing there. Mm. So the, it, it's covered. Yeah. It's not really an issue as such. Mm. Um, uh, the Lersel situation is not really a problem. Virginia will step up to be the third choice. Yeah. So again, that's not really a problem. So the players that are going out aren't really an issue. As in, you're not really seeing them. But it is that worst case scenario. It does hopefully mean that. And I would like to see this now every game. That Onyongo steps up to the bench every game. Mm. He's there every game. And a couple more are on standby. Now, uh, you've got, obviously, you've got Nkunku, you've got maybe a couple of other players, like Small, who are just bubbling under. Still talking about Gordon going out today, though, on loan. Well, he might do if Bernard stays, Bernard's going to stay now, isn't he, it looks like. Um, but then your subs, you, you're actually, mm. it's like at the weekend, you know, you, you're looking, the bench two, you're looking mate. and you're thinking, right, so you can change this at 1-0. 1-0 one, one one with 20 minutes left, 15 minutes left. Yeah. You're thinking, you can be brain gone and no. you've got Tom Davis, mm. you had Anthony Gordon, who's not ready, and then you had two centre backs. There's only two teams, I believe, in the Premier League who have not had a sub come on and score this season, and we are one. I know, and you've even won it. So that so, says it all. So we do, we need, play, we need, we could do with someone in today, and it's not one of those things of like, oh, uh, we, we have to to cover it. We could have done with one anyway. We could have done with well, one we, this month. We talked about when the when the the summer transfer window shut. Me and you were, were advocating maybe getting Josh King or someone like that yeah, going. Yeah. If we get him, we're really well covered. And we, we took, you're right, mm. we took a bit of a gamble. We went, no, we'll stick with Dom and, and Richie mm. can play there and Tosin's coming back, if, whatever. But now we've got to the stage where we've, we've both of those players yeah. have been out injured this season, Richarlison and Dominic yeah. Alvaloon, and then Tosin's gone. Yeah. So I'm, there was always that thing of, well, Ellis Sim just there, he's not ready, but he's, you know, he's six foot out. He's a, now well, he's not there. I'm not saying he's great that no, he'd have no. done it, but I just yeah. mean, he's another body. It suggests that the gambling on, if needed, Hamas Rodriguez and Gilfie Sigurdsson to do what they did against Wolves, essentially. 
But that's what it is, isn't it? At this, listen, there's, like I said before, we know that they are looking, but if things don't fall into place, it will be a very, it will be a risk. And the, the, what's really frustrating, if Everton had 28 points now or 26 points, and it was like, we're probably not going to do anything mm-hmm. this season, but we're not, you know, we're not in any danger yet. We'll just go with what we've got and say to them. But the fact is, and whether Saturday, take last week, put last week in the bin, because as far as I'm concerned, it, it should be in the bin. But Everton have got 33 points from the halfway stage. If yeah. Everton won their two games in hand, they're in the top four. I know the two very difficult yeah, yeah. games, don't get me wrong, but if Everton gets, no, 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 yeah. Everton got those six points, they'd be in the top four yeah. with half a season to play. Or, well, wouldn't now, would they have played 19? But we'd have a really... We're in the fight for the European places, whether that's a Champions League place or whether it's a Europa League place. Points-wise, yeah. we're in the, the hunt. And what would be really soul-destroying would be for us to go, no, we'll go with what we've got. And that be the thing that undoes yeah, us. Yeah, I mean, listen... Do you know just, what I mean? But it is... On, I mean, we've, listen, you've seen this week, Man United have had a bad week. Hmm. Leicester have had a bad, bad week. Spurs have had a bad week. Liverpool won the first league game this year. Yeah, yeah. Spurs the other yeah. Night. So, so you've got so all of those teams. The have struggled, teams above us haven't had really, you know, okay, West Ham won one out of two. Mm. It's the teams that are behind us now, the you know, the likes of Arsenal, the likes of yeah. um Leeds. Well, Leeds now, Leeds of course. Oh, who are picking up behind us and, and, and so yeah, we're getting drawn into that mix and you would it would have been nice to just have a couple. But the way they're looking at it is there's an opportunity to get players out that they don't really want. Lead, and hopefully leading to, and that that will all help when it comes to next summer. But you, as you just said, there, this it could it's a real opportunity. So. See, the thing is, it, that's great, and I totally applaud all of that. Mm. But you would think, just they know more than we do. But just think, as a fan doing math, it's like four players have gone out. So if you bring one in, that surely his wages would easily be covered by the four that have gone out, and we've got a body of someone who they're looking at may want to use. You know what I mean? Because the other four weren't, but. I don't know. Just like I said, there's still time, but it's a it is a mad one when you're thinking of it. You're thinking if, no, if we it don't, is. It is. we are gambling huge. We are gambling. I mean, we've said that all season. We are gambling. We've been mm. gambling from you know as soon as really Moise Keane went out. We never replaced them. We've been gambling. So we are. So. Uh, yeah. Anyway, we've been asking for your questions using the hashtag Fanline over on Twitter. Um, brought to you by. Powered by Sniffers Protein, mm. who are trying to get fans involved. Obviously, we're transfer from the transfer deadline day um, and month. So, Ned, what's green? What's going on? Well, Hayd says, can we still get Europe with this squad without signing anyone? Um, I, it, the problem is, I suppose, is seeing in the next few weeks, we've got. Weekend Wednesday, weekend Wednesday, weekend Wednesday. A lot of, a lot of uh, tough games. Really tough period now. Mm. You know, Leeds, Man United, Spurs, Fulham, Liverpool. Liverpool mm. could be some on that week. Liver that week as well if they decide to wedge in one of the games, especially with Champions League starting the week after. Yeah. Um, so we've got a lot of games very very quickly. And that's going to stretch the squad. Would you know? Alan coming back will be huge mm. um, for the way we play. But that's it's really it. going to test. It's really going to test the squad, isn't it? It is. But we can't. I mean, the question is, can we get your? We we can, but it, we have to. We'd have to keep Dominic Calvert Lewin fit, Richarlison fit. Mm. We well, need, and then start scoring. And we need Richarlison to to start scoring and Dom to start scoring. So we can't do it. But you're right, we're going to have to... It's, it's that thing of being able to... Games like Saturday where your plan isn't working, what's your option? Mm. That's the issue that will undo Everton. Is that there's no... It's like at the weekend, like a Wobi started and he's been doing well of late, but he was he was garbage Saturday, didn't do anything. You know, Hammer was our best player. Richie might have worked hard, he really looked like... No. You know, he doesn't look like himself. Not Dom, doing the job he's supposed to do. Dom's isolated. It's never got Dominic Alvalum is never gonna score you the goal out of his own doing really. No, He's not no. gonna pick it up and go beyond plays. He needs chances. We're not doing that. We can do it because we proved we could put a run together. We proved it. But it will be harder without having an option off the bench, I think. So unless we just go back to, to being tough to beat and nicking. 
the low block low effect. Blocky. I think Saturday the gamble didn't work, did it? With no. the two attacking four blocks. So. <laughs> we were attacking and yet we weren't attacking. Yeah, it was weird, yeah. So, it was weird. Uh, be, yeah. We can do it, of course we can. But it will be tough. Max says, if the rumours are true, who would you rather have, Diego Costa or Josh King? A, I think the rumours aren't true. Okay. But, yeah. if they were... I would rather have Josh King. Yeah, I think I Two would, years ago would have been... Would yeah, Costum is, Costum is a great Premier League player, but there's a reason why he's been binned. And I don't think... The problem with him is, you look at him and think, well, he could only play in one position, and that's Dom's position. Whereas yeah. I think Josh King could come in on the left, on the right, up front, oh, up front. playing a two. Yeah. Um, is mobile. A good, a good bench player he's as well. He's got pace, will come off the bench, add something. I don't know if Costa would do that. Mm. I really don't. He I think, pace, would he? Yeah, and I think the wages would be higher as well, even though Josh King apparently wants good money. His mm. last big move, or his or his big his big move. Mm. Um, so I think just for I think for all those reasons, yeah, I'd rather have Josh King. Dave says, "Do you think we should have signed another keeper during this transfer window?" Um, no, I think. Um, I think we had four, didn't we? Anyway, That's four, yeah, we had four. So now we've got three. We've got obviously we've got Olsen and Pickford vying for that number one, and then someone on the bench. So I think we're, I think that's another decision that needs to be made in the summer. A big that's a big decision. Yeah, and I don't think it's this was the decision. time to make it. I think um, it's a huge decision. Yeah, I think the summer is the time to make that decision. So now I'm I'm I'm. I'm all right with what we've got. Yeah, we don't need we don't need another goalkeeper uh, uh, now. Olsen's Olsen's more than capable of being the number mm. one. Pickford is, is the number one, and Jalvetting is obviously a young goalkeeper. So, and we've got Harry Tyrer as well. Who's there? He's a young keeper who can come onto the bench if needed. Mm. We saw him obviously playing in the game against Preston, mm. the last day uh, friendly before the season yeah. started. Done very well. I'm not saying he's ready, but what I mean is, he's a goalkeeper. He's a big lad. You know, when he's played before. Yeah. So, I don't think we needed the goalkeeper. Do we need one in the summer? Well, if Olsen doesn't stay, quite clearly we do. And that'll be a decision for the manager to make because it, potentially you're looking at Everton requiring a number one. Mm. You know, if, if because unless Pickford's form goes up massively, then Everton might have to make a decision on Jordan Pickford. But it's it's the thing with Jordan Pickford is it's very easy banking a drum to replace him. But it's... He's obviously very well paid. Mm. It's who's going to take him. Yeah. And you'd have someone who's that. And I know, listen, I've said the same in the past, that just because he's on a hundred odd grand a week or something doesn't mean he should play every game because mm. the way he just dictate that he should. If he's not good enough, he shouldn't be in the team. Mm. But obviously that creates an issue for Everton. But if it's, if it's not going to be Robin Olsen, then obviously they're going to have to make a decision on who it's going to be. And it has to be a goalkeeper that can be the yeah. number one because there's no point just getting another player like Jonas Lerslin who's going to come in and just sit on the bench and never play because that doesn't help anybody but Donnarumma would be nice No, out of contract in the summer yeah. Um, yeah. yeah there you go I think that's just about all the news at the moment obviously mm-hmm. we'll be back we'll be back a bit later on um, to bring you up to date with, with, with what's going on don't forget tonight 7 o'clock Ball Street Transfer deadline show, four hours of uh, all the breaking news on their YouTube channel. We'll be involved in that as well. So that's from 7 o'clock, powered by Snickers Protein. We'll be back before that as well. Um, I think we're going to be back about 5 o'clock as well. As well. Um, and when we do that as well, we'll be looking at all the YouTube comments and everything as well. So um, And what else is going on? Keep you up to date. Yeah, yeah everything else. This was just a quick latest just to uh, get everyone up to speed and, and obviously see what's going on. So we will catch you in a little bit. Keep your eyes out for the updates on Twitter and, and on YouTube when we go live. So uh, see you later.